Okay, so you guys remember how I had the Delta Kappa Alpha exposed video? Okay, well, um, I don't, I didn't know if people were actually mad at what I did, like the people in the fraternity. And then I come home and my roommate, Estella, Estella, get in here. She finds this letter <laughs> that they slipped under the door. Look at this. It's kind of long. And like, we're going to read it to see what they actually said. Like, we haven't read it. We, we probably glanced at the first sentence, you know, but like, definitely like we're gonna see their response like their response to my video because that's what this is you know because people don't just contact you out of nowhere so let's see okay first off i agree with the description of your video not all fraternities do rush the same way as delta kappa alpha that being said we do have to address the one thing that really bugs me about the whole thing assumptions <laughs> I struggle with this too, and it has really caught me off guard when things don't exactly go my way. But I don't make YouTube videos, nor <laughs> do I feel the need to because I understand a casual link and have found my own way of coping with it. The link, you may ask, is one of the l that ties assumptions to expectations. Okay, just on that first part, okay, they have no right to tell me what I can or can't do, and if I want to make a YouTube video about it, I totally can, like, that's what YouTube is about, you know, expression, and then revealing your, like, your story times, basically, like, that's a thing that YouTubers do, right? Yeah, like, that's a thing. So, for them to tell me that I have to cope and deal with my internal struggles and not showcase them, like, that's oppressive, like, if they just want me to keep my mouth shut and not expose them, like... Right? It's still right, like, right. Okay, I totally we, ha we haven't read the entire letter, but we're just reacting piece by piece, you know? <laughs> okay. You see, when you assumed incorrectly, as it seems, that you would get enough votes from DKA to be able to take the pledge test, you expected that you would get the votes to fall in your favor. Thus, when they didn't, it hurt the hell out of... It hurt a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Trust me. I've been through this. I know how it goes. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, nervous. Another assumption that you made is because you knew your pledge class, you would get the votes. That led you to expect that you would get the votes. What? Did I read that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Um, thus, when you didn't, you felt betrayed by your own pledge class. I can tell you from personal experience that simply knowing someone does not mean they like you or want to be anywhere near you. Hashtag Dang. rough times. Okay. Um. The hashtag. Yeah, like... We were friends, though, like our pledge class, like we were friends. And now they're telling me, OK, just because they know you, it doesn't mean they like you. So are you trying to say like everyone there was being fake to me? Like, d did our pledge activities mean nothing? Like, hashtag rough times? That's kind of inappropriate, too. Besides... That's just kind of petty. Like, yeah, the hashtag like, really hashtag really rough times. times. Like, oh, sucks to not be liked. Come on, like... Yeah, that's just really rude. Yeah, like. and, like, I don't even think this actually has a name to it. It's anonymous. Anonymous? So they're going to pull this bullshit again on, like, oh, we anonymously didn't vote you in. Also, here's this anonymous note to help you cope with it because you made a youtube video about it like like we're we're still reading it piece by piece you know like we're, we're we haven't read the whole thing yet but we'll give you like a review of the whole thing at the end the last assumption you made was that missing out on events didn't really matter in the middle of my rushed quarter we were informed that academics were no longer an excuse to miss an event with few exceptions if we had an essay due we damn well better have done it before the event. If we had an exam, study beforehand. We were only allowed to miss if we were leaving town or had to actually attend an exam. Having an essay due the next day was not good enough a reason to skip and one of my pledge class members was dropped for using studying as an excuse. Okay, this is in re like this next paragraph is in regards to me missing one of the rushed events, which by the way weren't even mandatory to go to to begin with. You get me? Like, and people only, like, there were some people that only showed up to the last event. Now, I don't know if they were included in the pledge class or not, so you definitely, like, if, if I was in the fraternity, I would understand that I couldn't miss an event, but this is me pledging. This is me trying to get to know the fraternity, even though I already knew them, you know? And so for them to be like, oh, just because you had an essay, that doesn't mean that you could be absent. Like, okay, I have no responsibility to you, you know? Like, I'm trying to see if I want to join your fraternity, and here you're telling me that I can't 
put academics before before what before like making films yeah and also didn't you text her that is it because i missed an event and she's like no we understand oh, that oh yeah i think that's in a screenshot no, yeah, she yeah, sent yeah. me that i'll, po I'll day, post actually. that screenshot too because like evidence, evidence yeah that whole paragraph is i know it's irrelevant yeah it's irrelevant mm -hmm. exactly what really why is this because i missed an event because i really couldn't make it please don't do this again i'm sorry nicole no, it's not because you missed an event. That is understandable. Did you hear that, people? Understandable. However, I do not think that should deter you from what you want to do. This is the real world, and the people that inhabit it range from the kindest of the kind to the despicablest of the despicable. You should not let anyone get in the way of what you want to do, much less a fraternity. There are many many ways to achieve what you want to achieve either keep trying or pick another path do you want to react to that or do you want to no. continue okay however do keep in mind that happiness is a mindset you can choose to be happy for what you have or unhappy with what you oh don't my God. but don't let don't let assumptions get in your way assuming that things will fall the way they're supposed to is extremely dangerous and leads people into a much bigger trap into much bigger traps than the one you seem to have fallen into. Assuming leads to expectation, and when expectation is not met, you are left with feeling distress. Thus, try not to look at things from the angle that I do. Expect as little as possible, and then there won't be anything around to let you down. I kind of want to go on that line, expect as little as possible, which is sort of like not the type of mindset I grew up with. Like, did someone tell you expect as little as possible for no. your life? Like, is that something you tell your kids? Is that something you grow up with? You know, expect as little as possible so you don't feel sad when people totally just, like, drop you out of their lives and make you feel like, I don't know, like, you're worthless, you know? Because that's exactly how I felt. I was like, oh my gosh, like, these people that I thought I had a lot in common with and I thought that I got along with, all of a sudden just don't give a shit about me at all and so I shouldn't have given a shit with about them to begin with is that supposed to make me feel better like what, what I don't know and who are you to give her all this advice yeah like, like it, this this letter is anonymous I think it's in a we were talking about how this is inappropriate for it to be sent to me you know like it's inappropriate slipped them under the under door, the door like, no if name anything, they should have spoke to you directly if yeah hurt, like if it hurt them you know this is this is like so ironic because they're like, oh, you should have shouldn't have done a YouTube video, but then they're sending anonymous notes. Like what? Part two. Part two. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're coming for you, DKA. <laughs> I'm not intending this as a criticism as much as I am intending it as an anonymous response, and this also plays into the importance of anonymity. It's not for your sake that this is anonymous, it's for mine. Well, obviously. Oh, bitch, like, obviously. <laughs> Votes aren't anonymous for your sake, but for the sake of the voters, because everyone's so fake. I'm sure they hold it in their conscience, especially the naysayers, and know that this has negatively, negatively affected you. Well, no shit. Okay, I watched the video to the end and I sympathize with you. It is really upsetting when you're not selected for the rush process. It is also upsetting when you don't get a job. You have gone through so much with no wait. It is also upsetting when you do not get a job you have gone through so much with and were sure of getting happened to me. I know your pain and I want you to know that I wish the best for you. I don't hope to ruin your day, especially with this being so close to finals week. I just hope I can let you know someone else, me, has had a few similar similar experiences and I assure you that it's not really something worth getting heated about. Like, <laughs> okay, then why'd you write this? There are more important things to worry about. P.S. Fuck Trump. I keep this clean just so that I can curse that idiot out. Okay, so the whole purpose of me doing that YouTube video was to let go of this, okay? Like, I was over it. You, you and I talked about it, right? Like, we're roommates. I was over it. And I just made that video because I was like, okay, well, I'm starting my new YouTube channel. I want something to talk about. So let me just do this video because it's something that happened to me and it's something that I, you know, want to talk about. It's not because every day I'm thinking, oh my God, Delta Cap Alpha, Delta Cap, like, I don't care. I'm not thinking to about you. To express herself. Yeah. Just to tell her experience. Yeah. And other people experience something similar. 
so again, this whole thing with anonymity, like how could I not talk about it now, you know? It's like they're still holding on to a grudge if they have all this shit to say. When did you make the video? Like, I don't know, a couple, like two weeks ago, three maybe? Like, so they've been planning this out for a while, you know? So the last thing I want to say is like, you best believe I'm about to talk about this and post it because this is your response to something I did a couple of weeks ago. Because, and you even said in your letter that, you know, like you sympathize with it because the ending to my video was not bad. It was saying that, you know, not all frats are like this and this was just my experience. So why do you have to respond to that? Why can't you just let it go and accept that you fucked up like you did and i know i'm making assumptions and something but a lot of these things you know are true okay and i really don't want to deal with this as much anymore so i'm just gonna make this video and be done with this with it like i'm done with you guys and i want you to know that so stop coming for me okay because i first of all i'm not even naming any of you okay i'm keeping this anonymity so don't say i wasn't being anonymous when i was talking about delta cap alpha all right you guys are a big fraternity and so anonymity wasn't a problem because i even blurred out names so if you're gonna come for me just know i'm gonna come right back i would like to say though that this anonymous note is incredibly well written and I appreciate this person for taking the time to make something as anonymous as this is. So thank you for that. Thank you for distracting me from my life and bringing me back into this DKA nonsense. But this video, like I've mentioned, is going to be the last thing you ever hear about Delta Kappa Alpha because um, I'm literally so done with them. Like, th this was unnecessary. Like, I was over this whole thing a long time ago. Um, and I simply made that video because I can. So just because I made something doesn't mean I hold a grudge against anyone, you know? Like, it's over with, it's done with. So um, that's really all I have to say.